Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the game, you can see that there's some cool new buttons, but something else is missing. And as you can see, there is no score in the game anymore, which I do not like this update at all. I think it completely makes this game feel like every other racing game at this point. And I grinded for all these cars for restriction races and stuff like that, and now it's just all gone to waste. There's no reason for me to grind for the Camo RS, no reason for me to grind for the ST3 RS, no reason for me to grind for the Mixture or the Hooligan Nimbus or the Beast or the Mamba. I spent hundreds of hours grinding this game and now all the cars are basically just useless. And here's the new expansion area in the map. And that's pretty much all of it. And with this new area, there's three new races, but it doesn't really make sense to be doing races anymore. As the races are so repetitive as you're just going to be using the best car in the game all the time. And for new players coming into the game, if they're going into these races, they're going against the best cars in the game and they're just going to leave. But here I'll show you the three new races. The first one we have here is Woodland Rally. The second race we have is Forest Trail. And there's a third race, which it's Redwood Pass. And now heading into the shop and looking at the new cars, we have three new cars. The first one being the Ringo. And here it is. You can open up the four doors and you can't open up the back. But I guess there's no point in upgrading it because there's no score. And upgrading this car isn't going to make it good anywhere because it's such a cheap car. But here are the customizations for it.
I guess the police overlay doesn't do anything. And now onto the second car, we have the Apex GT. And here are the customizations for it. And for the last new car in the shop, we have the Kronos. And now with that, heading into the weekly challenges, we have the Nightline S35 Extreme and a new car, which is an Odin 6x6. And all these quests are the same, but we have two new ones. The first one being be a Shadow Racer in Redwood Pass Race. So let's do that. And there we go. This is pretty easy for players that have played longer, but I don't think this is even possible for new players in their starter cars. So this doesn't really make sense for a new player standpoint. And to the other one, we have another beat Shadow Racer, but in Woodland Rally. And there we go, we have beat both of them. Uh, this is a cool idea, but it's not executed well. I think a way they could easily fix this is by just giving the other player the exact same car and it would balance out these challenges. And it would allow new players to actually complete these challenges. And now with that, I'll show you the five parts in the USA map. Starting off with the first part, I accidentally got it when I was doing one of the races, but head over to Redwood Pass. And right in this tunnel, you'll see the first part. For the second part, head over to Woodland Rally. And right on this jump, you'll see the next part. For the third part, head over to Forest Trail right here. And right at the end of this little part over here, you'll see the next part. For the next part, head over to Drag right over here. And the part is right up here. And for the very last part, head over to Redwood Pass. And right here, you'll see the last part. And with that, I guess we're going to grind the rest of these challenges and check out this new Odin 6x6. And there we go. I finished all of the challenges except for these other two. I don't really feel like completing them and getting the Nightline S35 again. I would get it, but there's no point in getting another one to put it into a lower restriction since there isn't even that anymore. So let's collect these and look at the new Odin 6x6. And here it is. It looks really weird. I don't even know if this is a car in real life. And here are the customizations for it.
And one other change I want to talk about is how they have a cycle now of races. So some of the races aren't currently here just to make it so it seems like there's more people racing, which I also don't really like this. I don't know why they didn't just keep every race because some people like grinding races and getting good times and now that also just removes the shadow racing there as you can see there's only a few of the races here at a time and with that being said i think that's gonna be the end of this video let me know down in the comments what you think about this update and i'm gonna go back to crying <laughs>